All right, man, I want to spend a little bit more time on the uh, chain of command, the power dynamics, once they had a uh, president of basketball operations for the Pistons. Uh, I want to do a live wrapping up the Pistons season, so hopefully I can do it sooner than later. I know I've got the draft coming up. I've kind of really been out the loop on the draft, so I've been trying to catch up about what's going on in the NFL draft. But let's uh, spit on this, man. So, um, I was reading Amari Spankford's article on the Detroit Free Press, right? And, you know, he basically outlined what, what what's going to happen as far as the power, the chain of command when the president of basketball operations. So, Troy Weaver is going to have to answer to the president of basketball operations. So, uh, they're not going to collaborate. He may act, you know, basically what's going on here, just reading between the lines. And that's something that you have to learn to do. Trust me. In all aspects of life, when you're dealing with business and people, basically, they paying him to do absolutely nothing. They just don't want to pay him to sit at home. He said, why you just don't quit? If you quit, he don't get paid. So they paying for him not to do nothing. That's pretty much, you know, you basically paying him not to do a goddamn thing. So the basketball president, president of basketball operations is who going to pull all the strings. Now, Alex and B. Taylor keep saying they should get Ben Wallace. They should get Isaiah Thomas. They should hire Jalen Rose. Well, if you care about them guys, right, if you really care about them guys, do you want that for them? Don't you want the best for your, your significant other? Don't you want the best for your kids? You know, you want the best for your friends and your family members you care about, not the ones you don't. <laughs> you want the best for them. You want the best for them. So why would you put them in a in a situa a toxic situation like this? Come on, man. Anybody that that got you know that got options, they ain't taking this job. All right. Anybody that that's struggling to advance in the NBA. And this is the only opportunity they see coming. They're gonna take the opportunity. It's like Troy Weaver. If he had other options, he wasn't coming to no goddamn Detroit. Just being real. And I'm just keeping all the way funky. So basically what they doing is he don't want to pay Troy Weaver to sit at home. So they get Troy, you know, Troy will probably get on the phone, see what they can get for this player. And he'll do little petty jobs like that. He ain't gonna be pulling the strings. And even they, even once you think about it, they always held his hand. When it came to, you know, hiring a coach. They made him keep Dwayne Casey. When it came to do another hiring coach, he brought the guy from the Bucks in, uh, Charles Lee. He brought, he wanted to hire his boy Kevin Ali. Tom Gores held his hand and said, "No, nah, we gonna go over here and force Monty to take this money. We gonna sit with Monty." And you ever notice when they did that press conference? One, Troy was looking like I ain't want this ninja here. Two, Troy, when it came to about hiring Monty, he kept deferring to Troy to Tom Gores about Monty. He didn't want Monty Williams. I keep telling y'all that. He, he didn't want Monty Williams. All right? So, you know, he said, yeah, me and Troy, it's, it's, the blame is on us. We made all the decisions and all that. Then he was just looking like, eh, you know. So the, the interesting thing about, about this whole thing, too, is that basically they're telling Troy Weaver, we ain't going to fire you to go home and sit at home. You're going to come here and you're going to be stuck in this shit, too. And then again, if he do quit, I mean, what other job he going to get paying like this at a prominent job? He not. This is one shot to do a great job and he messed up. And like I said, I don't put it 100%. I don't put like, I, I give him 50% of responsibility. When I can't hire my coach and I'm bringing in different coaches that got different philosophies than I have about building a basketball team. Okay, I can, you know, give you the soldiers to, to carry out the war. But if you ain't using them the right way, it is what it is. You know, he had to go to Tom Gores to tell Monty to put Jay and Ivy in. That's to tell you everything you need to know right then and there. But now, the other funny thing about, about the article, you know, this is the first paragraph, I believe, too. It said that Monty will report to Tom Gores. So at the end of the day, if Monty don't like nothing, he going to go to Tom Gores. So it ain't like, okay, you know, we got a decision to make. Monty going to sit down with the president of basketball operations and, and Dwayne Casey, I mean, excuse me, and Troy Weaver, and they're going to come to a solution or they're going to come to an answer. No, Monty reports to Tom Gores. 
Troy reports to the president of basketball operations who got more power, obviously Tom Gores. So if that's going to be the case and they want to do something that's semi-functionable, how about you let Monty be the president of basketball operations or what people, more people will refer to probably listening. Why not let Monty Williams, why not let Monty Williams, why not let Monty Williams, Hire the guy that he wants to be the president of basketball operations. Somebody that he work well with. Somebody that see the game the same way where they can, you know, feed off each other, have a balance, and build it that way. Now, if you're thinking Chris Paul, he said he ain't retiring, whatever reason that is, he refusing to retire. Just go away. Jesus, him and LeBron, bye. You know, so that I think that's what you do. You allow Monty to get somebody he work well with he jail with instead of you got him and Troy they don't see it the same way him and the president of basketball operations they probably ain't gonna see it the same way it's just Tom Gores is it's just yeah oh man man this this is this is this is this is insanity bro he made bad financial decisions and now he don't wanna pay the reaper for that and like I said before if you if you a player on this team and you want to save your career, you want to save your reputation, you want to salvage what you got left in this NBA, you got to get up out of here. You got to go out to L.A., sit down with Tom Gores and say, look here, man, I didn't fuck my career up here enough. I appreciate everything you've done for me, but I need to get out of here. I won't be resigning here. I need, I need, to, I need to get traded. I appreciate y'all, but I don't, I mean, I got one life to live. And right now, Y'all mission statement ain't lining up with my mission statement. I want to win. All you got to do is lay out what I told you. It's dysfunctional. It's dysfunctional. It's strictly that. You got Troy reporting to a president of basketball operations and Monty reporting to the owner. Like, just, If that's the case, just get Monty the fucking president of basketball operations job or let him hire the guy and, they can, and Troy could just be a, 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 a arm candy. You know, but hey, it is what it is. Check out Detroit Piston Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video. Um, financially, you want to support the channel, cash out, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link description. Appreciate the love and support. Check out Detroit Piston Talk playlist. Peace.